Hello, everyone. Welcome to the House Medium Podcast channel. This is my new YouTube channel. It is going to match my podcast, The House Medium. So those of you who've been with me for some time have seen this channel and I posted different things about different subjects about paranormal and spiritual things. So I'm ch doing a little change and what the change is going to be is I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a synopsis, little going over different episodes that I've had on my podcast that have already aired. I'm definitely going to highlight these kind of cool factors that happen on my podcast. Now, what is my podcast? It's the house medium. I am the house medium, Adela, and people send in their questions about paranormal experiences you might have experienced recently, 10 years ago when you were a kid. And I will tell you right then and there what I see it is. And there's another part of the house medium podcast, which is people who are looking to buy or rent real estate. Maybe you're even just kind of wanting to know some things about your own current space. I can see those things as well. So I can help with moving and real estate agents and things like that. So people send in both types of questions or experiences and I have you on. And for those of you who are a little shy about coming on, you can still send in your experiences and I will have a special episode that I call the reader's room where I will read the emails and answer them on air. Now let's get started with the first episode I want to go over at the end of each video. I will have a little tips of things that you can do to cleanse or different kind of spiritual tips and tricks of that you can incorporate into your routine in life or just into life in general for longer videos about learning things, meditation. Also, um, I do speed readings uh, once a month for everybody. It's on my Patreon. So if you want to join my Patreon, that's going to be a longer content and that's like five bucks to just join. And you also get 35% off of all my readings. But this is the new look of the House Medium YouTube channel. So let's get to the first episode. First episode I want to go over is the name of the episode is called, and I wrote little notes down so I can keep track of everything properly. And it was called, Who's the Spirit Who Guards the Cemetery? This was awesome because in the cemetery one, she just sent me a picture of a tree and some tombstones of, you know, basically the family cemetery. And her sister kept getting a feeling that there were some spirits at the cemetery that did not want them there. Something was like, get out, or someone was saying, don't be here. And when I saw the tree, I was very drawn to it because I could see someone there. Now I'm going to go on, let's start with the tree, okay? which is an awesome tree. Is there a bird in there or is that my imagination? Oh, I, I, I don't you even know. Don't feel like the person that you guys are experiencing is bad. I mean, they're not like a negative, but he is not a nice guy. He's not evil. He's just not friendly. He's not your friendly spirit. Okay. Because the person I see is a man with a cane with like one of those flat black hats, he does come across kind of formal. And what I saw him doing is like almost pacing and having a connection. Oh, I just got chills. So when, so did I. and the cool thing about this episode is that, but she sent me right away an update of the man in black suit. And then on his gravesite, there was a picture of him in the suit, but there was the flat hat, a gun and a walking stick. Mm hmm. Yeah, pretty awesome. So I would say mic drop for me because I did get it. I did nail it. And it was pretty cool because she also said I did see also that he was staring at um, this bird and it turned out his name is Crow. So that is that episode. Go, go check it out. Go listen to the whole thing because there's a lot more details that I left out. Now I want to get to my tips and then we're going to talk about cleansing. So there's the traditional way of cleansing, which is incense, right? But not everybody likes smoke and they don't like the smell of incense, 
But if you do, this is my favorite. I use coal and I use resin incense and this is actually frankincense and myrrh. You can see and they, I'll show you what they look like. And this coal is from Three Kings. So this is a coal from Three Kings. You go ahead and you light the coal, hold on, at the end like this. And you see it's gonna get very sparky, sparky, sparky. And this is what you call a canter. You might have seen something similar like this in Catholic churches. And I use, if you don't have something like this, you get anything metal, not glass, not ceramic, but metal. I'm trying to tip this without totally tipping it, but it is going ahead. You see if I can tip it a little bit, I don't want to tip it too much, but it is starting it will sound like this and it will smoke and it'll sparkle and it goes all the way across. So I'm going to let that, and even if it turns white, that is good. I'm going to let that go while I show you how to do a little bit of your own. You can even do this at home. Now I got this awesome, pretty little spray, and this is for people who do not like the feel that, you know, the smell and the smoke and all of that stuff, or maybe you can't do this because you live with someone. Now this is just a lavender oil and I'm going to take the lavender oil and I'm going to put a little bit in here into, into this, okay, just like this. Now, however, I did order some frankincense and myrrh. It just is taking quite a, not quite a bit actually, it's just taking a little bit of time to get here. Um, and frankincense and myrrh oil is available. Check on Etsy and um, you can find it pretty easily. That's one of my go-tos. I love it. It's, it's one of my favorites. However, you can also do this with just water. And this is what I did. Oops, I didn't show you what I did, sorry. Um, so you just go ahead and I poured some water in here with the oil like that and do this and go ahead and put this on top. And I haven't used this yet, so it may take a minute to spray, but it looks so pretty, right? And you can just spray your house like this. Just spray around you, spray around in the corners, and spray around the house. And you can do this with any bottle. I just like this one. Oops, sorry. I think I, um, there, there you go. So just spray around, I want to spray the camera. <laughs> spray around like this. I put a little bit more water because you want a little more oil than water so that the consistency is good. Um, okay, so for those of you who are interested in the resin incense, I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like. And what it looks like is it comes in, usually it comes in a container like this and it has like a rock formation. You only want like one or two. Matter of fact, I just, one or two. So I'm quick, just a couple. If you do too many, it will smother the, the, the coal. So just like one or two, and you will take a minute and it will start to smoke up. And once it starts to smoke up, as you can see, it's starting to smoke and you just start waving it around. And the same with the spray. Um, sorry, I'll do better with the spray. You do the same thing with the, both of these. You go around yourself, you go around your, your um, windows, you go around your house, you go around your bed, and you say, this is a place of light, this is a place of good intention. All those who are um, coming from a place of good intention are welcome, and the rest of you get out. This is my favorite because I love the smoke, but if you don't love the smoke, go ahead and you can make a spray or you can buy the spray. You don't have to make it, but I'm just showing you that it's really not that hard to as well. Um, but however, when you buy it, some pe they, people add other properties and other things that can be awesome as well. And maybe you don't have the time or the energy, which I totally get. So these are the two awesome ways that you can cleanse. Cleanse, cleanse, I always say, all the time, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Even if it's about spirits, but also even just people's energy. And 
thank you so much. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at The House Medium and subscribe to my podcast, The House Medium. Send in your questions to The House Medium at Gmail. I post all the things that I'm doing as far as classes and all that stuff on Adela Levine. You can get it on there or on my website if you want to acquire my services of any sort, adelalevine.com. And like I always say, follow yourself, follow no one, cleanse, and I'll see you soon.